Are you thinking of doing a career shift or you are just about to start studying and you don't know what to choose between a data scientist and a data engineer practice? In this video, I'm actually showing you the main variances and attributes of each practice. So if you're struggling to choose between a data scientist and a data engineer position, this video is for you. So a lot of people say that I'm the one that hooks up data scientists with data. I focus on building infrastructure and architecture for data generation. And all that means is that I'm actually building data pipelines to be able to transfer data from one system to another. I am also responsible for transforming data from one format to another so that a data scientist can pull that data from different systems for analytics. And not to brag, but what I like to do is to build and design large scale applications and install data systems. And these systems that I design fuel machine learning and analytics. To get all of this done, I use the following programming languages and softwares. Python. I use this to create data pipelines and to set up statistical models. SQL. I use this to create, build, and manage database systems. And R, I use this to analyze data. And other programming languages and softwares that are suited for data engineer positions are Java, Scala, Julia, and NoSQL. So I'm very good at asking questions and doing research on the business and problem at hand before I start gathering data. And depending on the problem I'm trying to solve, I either scrape or query data from a database from which I move on to cleaning it. And to be honest, I always spend more time than I want to on sanitizing my data. But anyway, after the data is cleaned, I always refer back to the question I'm trying to solve and pick from the data variables that I believe will solve my problem. And that is not always easy. In real life, data is going to be incomplete. You're going to have duplicate values. And most of the time, you're going to deal with way too many variable choices. So I usually use my intuition on what variables are going to be good for solving my specific problem. And then I move on to doing some exploratory data analysis, which tells me a little bit of statistical information about the data set we have at hand. And after I convince myself that the variables that I chose are good for solving the problem, I move on to splitting the data set into train and test sets and then implement the chosen machine learning algorithm. I know it sounds complicated and yes, it usually is as implementing the machine learning algorithm is going to require some effort as you need to make sure that you have fit your data, that you do not overfit your model, that you have normalized your data set, that you have split your data correctly, and ultimately that you have tuned your parameters. And did I mention that after I implement my machine learning algorithm, I have to create cool visualizations from my findings? And to top all of that, I also need to be a great storyteller and have good communication skills because I'm going to have to present my findings to non-technical audiences like managers and even business owners. Oh, and before I go, I want to tell you what softwares and programming languages I use to achieve my goals. SQL for querying databases, Python for reading and cleaning data and also create my predictions, Tableau for creating cool visualizations, and I also use R if I want to do some badass statistical analysis. Now, in some cases, you might also need to use Scala for big data analysis and Java if you have a big data set and you wish to clean your data very fast. So I'm very good at asking questions. 